Hello, everybody. Today we will discuss two very important topics sound attenuation and acoustic impedance. Attenuation is weakening in strength of the sound wave as it travels through the body due to energy dissipation as heat in form of absorption or wave scattering in different directions. Imagine you're shouting across a room as your voice travels through the air. It becomes quieter. Similarly, when a sound wave moves through a medium, like the body, it loses strength in ultrasound imaging. Attenuation affects the clarity of the image. When ultrasound waves travel through the body, three processes of sound tissue interactions that contribute to attenuation are number one, they bounce off tissue boundaries called reflection. Number two, these scatter in different directions called scattering. And number three, they get absorbed by the tissues called absorption. These processes weaken the signal, affecting the clarity of ultrasound images. Attenuation is determined by two factors. Number one, path length, which is simply the distance the sound wave travels through a medium. For example, if you're walking from one end of a room to the other, the path length is the length of the room. Attenuation is directly related to path length. The longer the distance the sound wave travels, the more it weakens due to attenuation. It's like how your voice gets quieter. The farther you are from someone you're talking to, in ultrasound imaging, the depth of the tissue being examined determines the path length. Deeper tissues require sound waves to travel farther, resulting in more attenuation and potentially affecting the quality of the ultrasound image. The other determinant is frequency of probe. Attenuation is doubled. If frequency of probe is doubled, this is due to increased absorption and scattering. That occurs with increasing frequency. To understand it is similar to as high-pitched sounds weaken, faster than low-pitched ones. It's like how a high-pitched whistle fades faster than a low, deep hum. In summary, longer distances and higher frequencies result in greater attenuation, while shorter distances and lower frequencies result in less attenuation. Unit of attenuation is decibel. Acoustic impedance is defined as the resistance that sound waves encounter when traveling in a medium or from one medium to another. Basically, it is the characteristic of the medium through which it is passing. It's a measure of how much a material of the medium resists the passage of sound waves. Acoustic impedance depends on two main factors that determine how easily sound waves can pass through or reflect off the material. These are the density of the material and the speed of sound in that material. For example, think of acoustic impedance, like trying to walk through the different types of doors. A heavy, thick door made of dense material would be harder to push open. That is higher acoustic impedance, while a lightweight door made of less dense material would be easier to open. That is like lower acoustic impedance. The clinical importance of acoustic impedance in medical imaging ultrasound is that it plays a crucial role in the reflection of ultrasound waves. As sound waves pass through different tissues in the body, tissues with different acoustic impedances influences amount of reflection. So the brightness of reflected echo depends on impedance mismatch of two media at an interface. As the difference in acoustic impedances between different soft tissues is small, so you will get quite a weak echo. But in case, if impedance mismatch is large, like between bone and air, reflection will be strong, and you get a very strong echo. In summary, acoustic impedance plays a crucial role and how ultrasound images are formed.